glass skin. That's what I want. I want baby's bottom skin. The chokehold that TikTok skincare advertising has on me right now is just reaching unsafe levels. So you already know I had to get this. I had to try this and now let's do some first use reactions looks pretty legit so you wash apply toner apply this after i'm doing it to dry skin i'll have to do my research if that's not right just let me know little jelly and pat so there's no smell which is one thing i was kind of worried about Get the neck, girlies. They say, do everything to your neck and the back of your hands that you're doing to your face because those are two areas that will really start to show age. Look, we're all like doing every single thing to stop that process, aren't we? I know my For You page is geared towards that goal. <laughs> it's already starting to dry, which is good. I'm pretty sure I actually should have put that snail mucin on damp skin just like I do hyaluronic acid, but going forward, that's what I'm gonna do. If I were you, that's what I would do. But let's all do our own individual research. Now I'm gonna apply the super famous Embryolace lotion, but why didn't anybody talk about how this is scented, y'all? Like. I really do not like products with fragrance in them for my face. This one has a near cult following. Is that because you're all getting like affiliate payouts or you genuinely like it? I don't know. Let's see. I'm a La Roche Posay girly, fragrance free, and I'm going to give this a try. It goes on really, really smooth. It is a little greasy, I would say. Um, we'll have to see kind of how this absorbs. I don't have particularly problematic skin, but I do have some wrinkles on the forehead and I'll just look for like improvement on that, I guess. And if these can do that, I'll be a believer, but check back.